crab stocks in Alaska and anywhere really are some of the most cyclical and volatile stocks that present tremendous challenges to fisheries managers. So it's kind of a mixed bag, I guess. Um, when you look at Opelio stocks, tax are, have been lower, likely to be pretty low again this year. We haven't seen real high recruitment. Tanner, bear dye uh, is another story and a really interesting one. We've been working collaboratively with Fish and Game to adjust the harvest strategy. We saw tremendous male abundance, but the fishery opens and closes on mature females. So the trawl survey in the Bering Sea last year was just below the line, so we had a closed fishery. Uh, going forward, there's a little more flexibility, some changes in how the accounting is done, basically, to maybe have some more fisheries, small fisheries that still protect the stock in years where there's relatively low female abundance, but a, but a surplus of males to be caught. Uh, king crab, I think uh, we're most likely going to see about the same uh, tack as last year. But the catch rates were as high as they've ever been. I think the pot average for the fleet last year was about 36 crab per pot, which is just off the charts, really hot fishing. And that's really good. And the, the market is undaunted, and the demand has never been higher.